Longtime White House correspondent Carl Cannon of Politics Daily believes the media, ready, gave Sarah Palin a raw deal in the presidential race and gave Joe Biden a pass despite a mountain of gaffes. In the 2008 election, we took sides straight and simple, particularly with regard to the vice presidential race. We simply did not hold Joe Biden to the same standard as Sarah Palin. Uh, when, when you heard this today, were you like, oh, big surprise? Well. No, I wasn't surprised. I think from day one when Sarah Palin came out and was announced as the vice presidential pick, the media immediately saw the intense and positive response of hardworking average Americans to this woman and they immediately went after her. High profile woman, accomplished all the things that um, supposedly the left wants in a woman candidate. She had them. She was basically exposing them. And um, I think from the beginning, it was their determination to bring her down. The fairness thing, Kate. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this. Look at the, the right. journalism.org survey. And they said that Sarah Palin got triple the coverage Joe Biden got. 39% of it was negative. Joe Biden, gaff after gaff after gaff. Yeah. And the media simply left him alone. Look, anyone who watched the vice presidential debate admitted that Sarah Palin wiped the floor with Joe Biden. It was only the mainstream media that gave him the victory, whereas there were at least nine major gaffes on foreign policy issues, something that Biden is supposedly an expert on. But hey, look at the comparison between Sarah Palin, governor of Alaska, and one-term senator, um, Barack Obama, saying that Palin hadn't had the qualifications to serve as vice president. Look at the qualifications of the guy running for president, yet never did the media point that out. Instead, they focused on who was the uh, mother of her own baby, um, yeah. the clothes that she and it's wore. True. Okay. Maybe the folks who think's not playing. Maybe the GOP should look for the most brilliant mind instead of the you folksy thing. Go ahead. It's not the folksy thing. It's she has common sense. Her What she says okay. resonates with Americans who are working hard to put their kids through school and to buy groceries. And right now, they see the federal government stepping on all their rights and expanding and bloating. And Sarah Palin is the one person that's out there talking about it. And frankly, she's outside the box. She does okay. things her own way. And gotta, that's why people I like gotta her. i got to go. I'll get Dan, 10 seconds.